What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian state and to pick up where we left off we have absolutely blitzed through North America and we might actually end the episode, end the entire campaign in this episode. Um, but first we have to take the army under Ciro Manfredini and attack the Mexican capital here under the command of Rico de Negrerios. And I don't think they're going to have a, very, have a very good time of it with the incredibly irregular garrison they have. So let's attack the city. So right now we, we smashed most of the uh, most of the troops in the well most of the cities in North America in one turn. I'm probably meh. will it end this episode? Because we're going to be attacking New Andalusia. We've still got to go get the Pueblo Nations. We've got to go get the Cherokee. There's a couple of there's a few battles to fight. Um, I suppose it depends how well we get on to be honest if we're getting to the hour mark and i'm probably about one or two battles away from ending the campaign i will probably carry on i do love fighting in the americas because the maps just they look so good so let's take a line of troops here we're going to be attacking right off the bat we're not going to be waiting for bombardment to make a breach we are going to be pushing from the get-go. I mean, we're still going to try and make a breach, but I'm going to let my howitzers fire round shot, because they will be focusing on mortars and stuff in the centre, which is a viable target. Won't be long till they start firing. Your native bow auxiliary. I suppose I should, the smart thing to do would be to make them attack the city wall first. Let's make sure we got a way in for our boys when they show up. Let's get our mercenaries, climb, new men climb, new men climb, let's take a unit of infantry to sit by the gate. Yeah, there go the mortars, quick climbing away. Yeah, they chipped away at that regiment. They haven't done irreversible damage. It's part of the reason why I've got my guys... Why well, you have to kind of attack everywhere at once. When they've got howitzers, because you know that if you do it piecemeal, they can focus on one particular area. To be honest, I might even... Ooh, got that volley off before it did too much damage to my cavalry. But if we can make a breach, my cavalry are going to be straight in. They're going to be the first ones in the city. Yeah, some of their units are charging off. They, they were weirdly deployed outside of the city when they attacked us, which is probably going to hold us up quite significantly there. push our cavalry up because I'm going to be waiting for... Yes, that'll get us in, alright. Swarm, swarm, swarm before they deploy in mass to stop us. I'm not quite sure where you're going, but... Push through the gate, push through the breach, we don't want to be bogged down in fighting outside the breach just yet. New men are firing your bows and arrows at us. No, oh, come on heavy cavalry, blow through. 
let the infantry following up attack the troops in the breach. Your job is to go after the head of the snake. No, got to keep dragging him out. Yeah, you men just have to take, just have to take what's going on. No, come on. Keep pushing. The difficulty is, is they are currently engaged in the gate and that's where they want to fight but I need to keep pulling my men out. To be honest it's pretty dumb to send my fusiliers in through the front but one thing we aren't necessarily short of is troops especially the need to keep troops alive. Got to get one unit to the centre, ready to try hold it. These two units are going to take out the native auxiliary. You men just run in. If they're going to leave the gate open like this... These men attack the troops on the wall. Oh, they're doing it again. Soon, we will pull our heavy cavalry out of that fight, out of this mess. This unit hit the native bow auxiliary. Come on, you men. You guys wait. Don't need to advance. Not very many minutes. Well, actually, to be honest, we can probably push a unit through this combat on the wall here. Let the mercenaries continue to attack the native auxiliary. Get this regiment of line attacking some of these troops in the rear in this combat. Nope. They're running backwards some reason. I think we want to kind of climb down the wall. You men run to the gate. You men attack the general's bodyguard. It looks like this unit's still kind of engrossed in this fight near fight in the gatehouse. You men attack the general's bodyguard. You men get into the centre. You men get off the wall. You men get in here. Because we've now captured the gate. So this unit can charge into the rear of these enemy troops. See, because there's one, there's a horse stuck all the way back here that's getting involved in the combat. It's enough to pull them away from the orders I've given them and just go no 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 we're gonna run no they decide they're gonna run and uh, back to the breach see they keep doing it look hopefully the horse that's over there dragging them back will die Get these mercenaries over here as well to try help. The infantry unit charging into the rear back here will do some good. The bows are going down. Bring my general up to cheer people up again. So annoying. But that's how the game works. You know, regiment of line, open fire. I don't care if the heavy, if my heavy cavalry go down. They deserve it for not following my orders. keep going after them because if we let them 
get close to my square, they might reset the timer. There we go. The enemy general's been knocked out. And the garrison has fallen. That's right, 35th Horse Guards. You're some of the most frustrating cavalrymen I've commanded. And we're in. Hurrah. So that is the... Well, the Mexico, the Mexican faction has been destroyed in one swift action. Yeah, they don't like us for now, but I've got a feeling once we repair all these buildings, repair our army, find their school, demolish it, repair their buildings and give them some solid employment they'll come to realise that having us as overlords is actually not a bad outcome. Because they will see that with the Italian Empire goes prosperity, wealth. So we've got a couple of armies landed down here near Panama. Although they've landed amphibiously, so they have no movement points. So they're going to push in and take the garrison out and push them away. We've got an army here waiting to take Caracas. And once we... Well, if we can, well, we, we can't get anyone in. Well, we can actually. So if I take out a third rate, get some pirates embarked on this fleet. I mean, they're just pirates. I'm not expecting them to do anything crazy. But we can land them off the coast. Don't know why I scooted that ship out. We've got way too many ships. So many ships don't even need them. So Mr. Lazari, you rep uh, Yes, Florida can handle you not being there, so you're going to advance towards Cherokee, cross Casanova. You can also... They can also stand to leave you. So you also push up. What about Mr. Mancini? Yes. You're on your way south. Some fantastic territories up here. I do like Michigan territory. You might not be able to leave quite so easily. No, no, you can. So the new man can also storm down here. All these chaps have moved, so there's nothing we can really do except oh, Monterey is being destroyed. Let's hit end turn. Let all of our remaining armies in the field that are going to run around, run around. Ah, the Pueblo Nations. Chances are the forces that are currently in um, Louisiana will advance west against them as well. Hey, they're attacking us outside. Of, they're, they're sallying at Caracas. Perfect. They, I mean, you can tell they're running into attrition problems. Let's take them out. The Caracas garrison falling would be quite a delightful um, thing to witness in short order. Because then we can try and get the army um, squared away and marching west towards Bogota. Being a Catholic region, they'll probably... Uh, Caracas will probably... Uh, accept our rule fairly openly. Hey, because they don't have defences, it's a normal battle. So you men are limber. I mean, fundamentally, let's not overthink this. Their army is weak. Form our gun lines. Form our mighty Italian troops into line and advance cavalry on both flanks let's bring the enemy down yeah like look they've not got mass we're not even going to deploy to maximise our fire because what's the point Guns are away. Foot artillery is going to be focusing on the demi cannons. Quick blame is. Oh, they're also going to be focusing on demi cannons. So 
so let's take our weakest portion of the line. Well, not weakest, but storm the map very more, or at least more aggressively than I am currently doing. You want to come at me? Come at me. You charge into the infantry. At this point, there's nothing for us to be afraid of. The cavalry is weak. Come on, form up and begin. Volley fire. I mean, I do like these. I do like the dark brown belts and the yellow jackets. I do like that. Oh, quick climb just blown a hole through that formation there. Delicious. These guys aren't going to last too long. Send our hussars in to attack the general's bodyguard. Oh, okay. Some of our howitzers are being engaged by its um, low angle shot from the artillery behind them. I'm fighting them. That does not matter. This new Spanish cavalry is going to fall. Then let's take our flanks and start wrapping them in. Yeah, light like cavalry is good, but it's got to be supported. I mean, the 10th Regiment's got the right idea. I'm going to try to see if I can break it with my heavy cavalry. That square formation. Charging a square is normally a bad idea, but hello, we can support it with an enemy, with a, um infantry attack as well. But yeah, that square formation is not going to stand. <laughs> Nope. They gallop in. You fools. What made you crazy enough to think you could attack us? Granted, you had little choice. Okay, so artillery cease fire. We want to commit our cavalry to kill as many troops as possible. Yes. Glory. Oh, there's a colonial line unit that came back. Well, I'm not going to let them folk change my target because, to be honest, we're in the same position. Regardless of if there's a line infantry unit that's come back or not, because they're yeah, they just broke again. Just mop them up as much as we can to make the follow-up attack that much easier. They'll probably get some form of garrison, but it might well definitely weirdly actually, this might be a the smart option for them. Lose your army in the actual fight, but then spawn a better garrison army. It's not the craziest thing I've heard. But it all relies on them getting a good garrison, which you can't ever really be sure about. So it's all about 
that unit and there's another unit way off to the rear of them which I'm going to let escape. It's only five infantry at that and it's about it's not very far from the edge of the map so let's not get too hung up about it. Oh they've routed. The last two new Spaniards left. There we go damn right it was decisive. That was a force that got absolutely routed. They only have 300 men remaining. Oh, <laughs> and the garrison's pulled back from Caracas. Palain's nations want peace and they're not going to get it. Hello. Let's auto it and see how much damage my one unit does. Hey, 194 men. They demand 690,000 to become my protectorate. No. Fine, come and raid me if you like, but you're just going to leave your homeland exposed from the army storming in from the east. You, you foolish fellow. But what I've done by allowing... What I've done by clearing out that fort, well, soon to clear out this port, has been my lone pirate unit forced their fleet to do battle... We now have a, a fort that can be attacked, which will probably... Okay, let's take all of you, except this sloop. We're going to sail down to here. Let's take... Don't take Mr. Grimaldi. Oh, I'm going to take Silvano Rui. You can sail down to Cartagena. Cartagena, Cartagena. One or t'other. Deploy your army. To push down towards Bogota. Mr. Grimaldi. Demand the surrender of Caracas. Where we just fought the more interesting battle of the two. So let's just end that. Fix up the buildings. Hello, there's a full force waiting in the waiting in the wilderness. It might come at us, you know. But if they're anything like is in good a condition as this army was, I wouldn't worry about it. Obviously you've got this fight to do. But Mr. Fierro, can you leave Guatemala? You can. So then you guys can also push to the south. Probably not to do anything, but... Oh, I'm an idiot. I did the wrong thing. I did the exact opposite. I upgraded the school rather than destroyed it. Fortunately, it won't kill us. Because when we destroy it next turn, it'll be okay. They'll break something, but that's the limit of their ambition. Vito, Spero, push onto Villa de Berra. Mr. Costa, push up to... Santa Fe, you men push out towards Yankton from the south. Baldazare, you can also have this order. <laughs> Mr. Adorno, you also have this order. And you can continue to push up in the face of the Plains Nations peoples. But we do have as a fight down here is to take Mario Torricelli, attack Panama and take another city away from the enemy with their incredibly depleted native force but a strong militia contingent. Let's clear him out. This will be Panama falling. To be honest we might actually need, it might be a small episode, a short episode maybe to do the final mopping up um, after this. Maybe? I don't know. Well i got the gym to go to later, and I need to do a bit of some chores and cook some food before I go, so... I don't know. I'm not going to start calling if this is going to be the last episode or not till we're a bit further in. Guns stay behind on the high ground. Got some chaps that are bugged. Deploy. A line. Our cavalry is not quite as... Kick ass, it has been in other armies. Oh, 
So these three men push up the right flank. So they can, they've got hidden units somewhere because they've got a significant native contingent. But these men want to push up and secure the dead ground on the right and the left. A lot of how it's just engage how they want. This colonial militia unit is going to find itself in a spot of bother. Part of the reason why I'm so keen to have my cavalry here is that I can then chase down the militia and kill them um, without them. Yeah, look at all these crew. So I can chase them down and kill them when they rout. Yeah, these men have opened up. The okay, militia will fall quickly, but they won't actually lose a lot of men, which makes them perfect to come back in a super annoying and inconvenient way later on. Okay, let's attack the tribal auxiliary. Be wary of the stakes. So the artillery, just give them orders to attack the militia. Ideally my marines will go in, clear out the tribal auxiliary, my regiment of horse can continue to advance. And mop up those militiamen. Still no troops hidden over here. Yeah, the role of this cavalry is to make sure that, that militia unit in particular does not come back. You men fire at will. Just shake and just make them shaken. We're not worried about killing them entire killing them completely, but we do just want to make sure we stop them from coming back. Those hidden units can be anywhere. Ha! Enemy reinforcements coming in over here. So let's take you guys and head off the enemy reinforcements okay found them we found some of them okay there we are we found them so our army is split into three distinct components now So we're going to pull our cavalry back. So we can form our front line. I mean, my howitzer cease fire, all my artillery cease fire as well. Yeah, keep fighting the auxiliary for now. This line's going to be fire at will off. Okay, 
So let's probably take these units that are pushing through and push them like so. Proper little nest of them there. My marines attack the native infantry. You men push up because they look like they're trying to take advantage of our of our forces being a bit spread out. Well, these guys definitely won't be able to. I'll tell you that. The you men are doing a real number on the native war auxiliary. They chose the wrong unit to hit in melee combat so they're walking and impetuous so you want to keep cavalry charge in because you don't really have a choice new men form a line here Actually, maybe you guys come back and hit the auxiliary there. Get these marines up here. Charge the infantry in the mix. There we go, you men engage that native war auxiliary. These units give them orders to also push forward. engaging or attempting to engage the militia so our cavalry swarming in general's bodyguards getting peppered with a musket shot surely they can they can they understand they can't really continue to do that Yeah, the last. I mean, these are all musketmen auxiliaries, so they're not they're not combat troops at the best of times, or at least melee troops at the best of times. These units push you forward into the native musketmen line. There, you men push forward into that line. Engage the 18th Regiment of Militia. Regiments of, foot, regiments of foot are doing a grand job. Okay, you guys. Everyone who isn't cavalry, get over here. At the highest speed. Cavalry, pursue the enemy. My other infantry. Everyone, just get over here. Because even though they're militia, and I'm not worried about militia, it's just the fact that they're currently peppering away at us without real support so that unit has been wiped out so pivot our formation let's bring mario over here everyone else has been defeated ah cavalrymen too bad too bad about the stakes this musket infantry charge the native cavalrymen there Hopefully they don't come back. Sometimes this works. Not this time. So we've got... There we go. Yeah, these infantrymen can fight the musket auxiliary. Ah, let's send this guard unit in the rear. This regiment of infantry fill in the gap. Yeah, they're just chucking in the militia. That's all they can do. So this unit that's first... That's first up. To be honest, all the units that are up first, just give them a, a command. You men can hold fire. 
37th are here. General's bodyguard is in position. The 35th are broken. As soon as we start pouring fire into the flank, they really are done for. Everyone else has been defeated, so they can march up in an orderly fashion. Same with the cavalry. Poor, poor souls. Fighting for a dying emperor that will not survive. When you could join us. Oh, they're starting to try and plug out the gaps in their flank, but... These aren't so much as gaps, these are vast yawning chasms. Thirty fifth are going down, the seventeenth are going down, the twenty ninth are going down. Thirty seventh as well. So all hopes rely on the thirty fifth and the forty first, who are about to get a volley at close range from the eighth foot guards. Oh, there's one guy reloading. These two. There we go. Close quarters volley on the flank. Yeah, they were not going to uh, last very long there. Advance the line. No more militia are coming in to reinforce them. Poor, poor, poor militia. Okay, so let's then push up our line. We're probably just going to do a bit of a bit of surroundy the enemy. Whoops! I have to put that back on regular speed. Oh, well, there we go. It's just—it's all on the forty-second now. Don't worry. 263 Spaniards is no match for all these hot-blooded Italians. They're in a bit of a defile though, so... They might survive longer than they otherwise would. <laughs> they're still steady, though. I mean, if, we had our, if our artillery is in range and they're just out, this would be even better. They are shaken, but they're active and they're concerned they're under fire, and I think some of them fired backwards. I didn't even think that was possible. <laughs> he just shot his buddy. I mean, now they're done for. Yeah, the volleys are crashing in from the flanks. If they don't rout now, so many of them are going to die. Yep, there they go. This is what you get, New Spain. This is what you get. And Panama is ours. Yes. Yes. Panama is ours. That's another territory of the enemies brought into the fold. So the governor, you men replenish. You can march forward and just destroy the remnants Mr. Spinelli get an order to march onto Bogota but this army will get there first because they're on main roads all the way we might get attacked by the new Spaniards there in which case then let's take Mr. Astrelli aboard the fleet and then we can sail them to here just off the coast so they're welcome to try but there's an army right here and fundamentally and this is a bit dirty let's upgrade the coffee warehouse will they go backwards to raid it and come back and not make it to caracas whereas 
our force here can get down and attack Bogota. That's that's possible. See, so Vito's on to Villa Berra next turn. A few turns to Santa Fe, a few turns to Yankton. Let's hit end turn. And let's see. I mean, I'm not going to move any of the Indian armies. They can all stay there now. They're just not needed. All of the territories that that will take a few turns to get are all near the coast. Oh, no, sorry, they're all well inland. The actual act of... <laughs> the actual act of um, sailing troops over won't help us very much. I mean, the new Spaniards won't be over, won't be destroyed until we take Santa Fe. I mean, there's no no point sailing them. I mean, although I've got a feeling I've probably sailed a bunch over. <laughs> yes, I have. I mean... Very well. Actually, I'm not going to do anything with them. They're going to stay there. You push on. Okay, I will fight that. But first, I want to set up a few other factions first. There's the Pueblo Nations that need to be careful with. You keep... You can make some good distance across that terrain towards Santa Fe. I mean, everywhere else is... Ah, okay. So you won't make it there in a, uh, in a day. Oh, it's because you have to go off the road, I suppose? Pff, fine. Go after their centres of gravity. Um, right. So I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm not going to move any of those troops. But then what we do have as well is... Put both of the Cherokee capitals under siege. So there's no help coming. What I'm going to do, so I don't forget, is take Mr. Spinelli and attack this Plains Nation's army to the north. Because the last time the Plains Nations fought an Italian army, they turned them into a great big steaming bowl of ragu. So we're going to repay the favour. We're going to bring them death and destruction and bring them into our empire. Although, to be honest, it's not going to be very clever. Form a line, surround and destroy like a giant white blood cell. Don't even care if I bash into their line because if we get into a melee fight, who's really bothered? They'll be there thinking, haha, our men one on one are so much superior to yours and I'll be thinking, yeah, well, thankfully, I've got a metric crap ton of my guys. Focus on the focus on the general's bodyguard. Hello, they've exposed themselves. Tribal gunners are gone. You men all hit the native bows. Aha, there's a bow unit. Hello? <laughs> Get him involved. Chase down the bows. If they want a melee fight, we'll give them one. We're not short of men. The Italian Empire has conquered the world. Oh no, not medicine men. They're useful when they've not got a crap load of cavalry coming right at them. All my... Well, my mortars... Howitzers can't do anything. But my foot artillery... Go for the chief's bodyguard. Yes. OK, 
Okay, let's stop all my artillery from shooting now. Get my general over here. I mean, I don't think the enemy are going to have that many opportunities to do to escape, really. Oh no, there's more warrior society men. What will we do? Maybe we'll do this. Completely lacking any sort of style. But you know what? There's a certain point when you've got enough enough men that you kind of think, you know what? Who cares about? Who cares about uh, <laughs> Maximising the, the safety and effectiveness of your men. So all of you... Try and knock out as many of these routing units as we can. We're going to continue. Just move my men out of the way. fewer men they have, the fewer men they will send back to their capital. Come on, there's only one guy there. Take him out. And loads of these units. Well, because they were so depleted off the bat. They just really weren't... There just really wasn't a lot they could do to stay alive. Very elite troops, but... Not so good at not getting stabbed to death. Oh, we're even going to get that warrior society unit. He bravely stood, but it wasn't enough. That's what you get. That's what you get. You earn the hatred of the Italian Empire for all time. And Ennio Spinelli is going to advance, cocky, bravely, cocksurely, towards Yankton, whether or not there may be more people hiding in the trees. Then what we want to do is take Vito Spero, and he is going to do the same thing, but against the Pueblo Nations, but a lot more carefully. Um, because these guys are at full strength, and let's just not be too silly about our choice of engagement. To be honest, I'm probably I'm probably going to end the campaign in this episode because we've not got many fights left to do. Not in the grand scheme of things. Certainly not enough to make it worth having another episode. But again, it depends how well this one goes. This goes really badly. So don't want to deploy too far back. So let's deploy one set of guns in the line, another set of guns can go behind the line. Bugged howitzers still exist. We're going to still want to use our cavalry in a skirmishing like role. Fortunately, it's all heavy cavalry, so that's quite good. I'm not going to send Vito into battle. <laughs> we nearly lost him once. We're not going to lose him again. So let's move our... Curacier up. So just a round shot. All my artillery is going to open up on this one unit of gunners. They've all missed. We are going to want to make sure we use our firepower. Oh, there we go. Some of them have started to expose themselves. How it's a switch to round shot. War society. Oh, 
Okay, they've stopped moving again. Send in a send in the cavalry just to uh, bring them back into the open again. Warrior society, warrior society. So we've got these are the warrior societies you. <laughs> As, well, as you've probably worked out, these are the warrior societies you've got to deal with first. Somewhere is going to be a big, big pocket of bowmen hiding somewhere. So let's keep moving our cavalry to try find them. Because they've realised they can't exactly ignore our line let's take the troops up, up on the flank here ha men spotted no nope, medicine men are protecting them yep they're being repelled no don't engage Get out of there, because we can use our quick climb to do stuff to them. We can use our cavalry to mop up the routing units to make sure they don't come back. You had to smash into that warrior society unit, but it's not ideal. I'd rather you run through the Warrior Society unit and attack the others that are currently standing up to us. Yeah, they're doing good. Now, when, they, when you're against bows, you want to be a bit more offensive. Okay, spin around and attack the warrior society because they're wavering. There we go. It's an easy opportunity to knock out... Got a good unit straight into the nat straight into um, both of them barrel straight into a garrison native bowman unit which is also wavering. Ride them down. Medicine men are pushing the flank, so make sure we keep our men falling back. Switch our artillery to round shot. Engage the tribal gunners. Shattered, 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 shattered. That unit's routing, but they've got an order. Actually, send our grenadiers in up the front. Run my line infantry around the flank. We can surround and engulf this unit of medicine men. Native American warriors are coming into the fold, but they've not been exposed previously. Push up our line. Medicine men have been shattered. Try to hit this unit of Native American warriors with two volleys of quicklime. Smash two cavalry units into the Native American warriors and hopefully we'll see how things develop there. Now they've been routed but not shattered. Quick climb's coming in though. 
Yep, yeah, that's them shattered. Hold fire. Native American warriors have also been shattered. Hello, Bowman. Chase them down. Cavalry leading the way. There's a load of <laughs> a load of guys back here. Trying to trick me. So let's let our cavalry continue to engage them because we can set up while they're busy. Rather occupied fighting my cavalry. We can push up our line to a great position to shoot the bejesus out of them. So sorry, Curassier, your job is to hold the position. You guys are actually going to be in... Oh, you're so close. Push you guys up. You can pour fire into the flanks. My gunners. You know what? Let's give them an order to fire. Now my cavalry run. Turn tail. Because the 55th are about to open up. The artillery's coming in. The volleys are starting to crash home. My own cavalry's upset. Incredibly upset at the, cha at the chain of events that's happened. One last dude of Native American warriors. They're wavering. And they have followed their kin. God, there's another unit of garrison bowmen. They could... All of those guys could come back, though. That's why the name of the game is to... Push up and consolidate. Yeah, they're already starting to come back. It's part of the issue of fighting the native factions, is that if they don't... If you don't do enough damage to them, they're quite resolute at coming back into the, into the mix. Two bow units that came back. Shattered, shattered, shattered. Hey, all the warriors are shattered, so it's just the bows, actually. Go on, grenadiers. Beautiful Swiss grenadiers. Yep, garrison bows have been pushed back. That bow unit has also been pushed back. Excellent stuff. I should. Is that it? Yes, it is it. Heroic victory for Vito Spero and Texas is ours. Good stuff there. So let's get rid of the gunsmith. Upgrade the column plantation. Upgrade the roads. Vito can replenish. Let's get rid of the communal farming. Let's industrialize this mother. So what I'm going to do is I'm got a couple of ba two battles here. The final battle at Yankton. I've got a battle at Santa Fe. The battle at Bogota. There's enough ammunition um, to have another episode. But first of all, I'm going to leave it by setting up the attack on Teleco, and we're going to destroy the Cherokee. <laughs> the Cherokee. Uh, this is just the Cherokee, isn't it? Pretty, pretty sure. Cherokee Nations, that's it. In my head, I'm thinking it's the, it's the Iroquois Confederacy, but not the Cherokee. Ch the Cherokee bunch of lads. But there we go. We're going to attack Teleco, then Chikasa, then probably fight the rest of the battles in the next episode. And it'll be the last episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the destruction of the Cherokee. Cheers, everyone.